In many scientific fields such as bioinformatics, medical imaging, and astronomy, large quantities of data need to be analysed. This can involve large-scale and repetitive processes in long pipelines of different tools referred to as workflows. It can be very time-consuming to run data for all these different tools by hand, and convert outputs to various formats to make them compatible with the next step. Workflow management systems are designed to alleviate this problem by allowing these workflows to be expressed formally and providing infrastructure to set up, execute and monitor them. This formal expression of workflows allows for scientists to easily share and reuse them. Crucially, they can also be used to verify results of computation for published work. However, there are many competing standards for describing workflows which is a barrier to this aim. Currently, there are over 100 different data analysis workflow systems with no interoperability between them. The need has arisen to have a single common standard, and so the Common Workflow Language project was created, an open standard designed to express workflows and their tooling in groups of YAML-structured text files. However, these files are currently almost exclusively being written by hand, and due to their syntax and expression in multi-file collections, are not conducive to easy browsing, exchange and understanding. My aim for this project was to create a richly featured web visualization suite which graphically presents and lists the details of workflows expressed in the common workflow language with their inputs, outputs, and steps. It also packages the files into a downloadable research object bundle, a container format designed to bundle relevant metadata such as attribution, versioning, and dependency information in a manifest, allowing for it to be easily shared. Visualization is a challenging process due to the complexity of many real-world workflows which can also be nested within each other to create multiple levels of abstraction. Despite this, it is a highly valuable feature, as a directed acyclic graph allows for the workflow to be understood quickly and easily, and can also be presented to domain scientists who may not have knowledge of the common workflow language themselves. The tool operates over any workflow held in a GitHub repository, with a URL to it being entered on the main page to view the visualization and details. This URL can either be a link directly to the workflow description on GitHub, or to a directory, at which point a list of workflows within is displayed on the page for the user to select between. The URLs of the resulting workflow pages are helpfully formatted to contain the GitHub URL to allow the user to manipulate and remember them easily. To increase performance, a cache is used to prevent downloading the workflow on every page load. If the URL refers to a branch name, the most recent commit IDs are checked after a timeout to see if we need to update it. If the URL instead lists a commit ID, the workflow is effectively frozen in time and no check is required. After this page loads, the research object, the downloadable container with metadata mentioned earlier, is being constructed asynchronously and is added to the page once complete. This contains a snapshot of all the files necessary to run the workflow. And a manifest containing metadata such as the commit authors, when and where the files were retrieved from, as well as information such as the version of common workflow language the CWL files are written in. Also at the top of the workflow page is basic documentation about the overall workflow, and a link to where the workflow is stored on GitHub for convenience. The visualization itself is just below. This is able to be panned and zoomed as desired to navigate it, which is convenient for particularly complex workflows. It can also be viewed in a larger modal window. An image of this visualization can be downloaded in various image formats. The source of the graph in GraphViz. a popular graph description language utilized by my application, can also be downloaded. Inputs and outputs are clustered at the top and bottom of the visualization, and intermediate steps are placed between. Colors differentiate the inputs and outputs, default values, and nested workflows for clarity. Below the visualization are tables containing more information about the inputs, outputs, and steps. For the steps, documentation from external tools or nested workflows may have to be pulled in from other files to aid in reuse. If the step runs a nested workflow, this is linked here and can be clicked to browse it. To prevent difficulty in matching these details in the table to the visualization above, the rows or nodes on the graph can be hovered over to highlight them. Clicking toggles this highlight and it's also possible to select multiple nodes to highlight them by holding the control key. This is useful to point out features of a workflow when presenting. It also enables the use of the Select Children and Select Parents functionality, which can be used to see, for example, which steps contribute to a particular output in the workflow. The application also provides a gallery of workflows which have been added, facilitating sharing and allowing people to view examples of workflows written in the common workflow language. Basic documentation and the origin of each workflow are given, as well as the visualization thumbnail. 
The list is also paginated to prevent a long loading time for a single page. Through the course of development, over 50 different versions of the application have been released using continuous integration and deployment. The official Common Workflow language domain hosts the application at view.commonwl.org. Feedback from these releases by the community were used to prioritize features and enhancements in an agile methodology. The source code is also available under the Apache license on GitHub. This is a permissive free software license which allows use for any purpose. There are currently over 150 different workflows which have been added to the live application including complex real-world workflows from the European Bioinformatics Institute, US National Cancer Institute, and Netherlands eScience Center, amongst many others. It has become the de facto standard way of visualizing workflows written in the Common Workflow language.